Mind Space Health. Yes, and today we're going to do some beginner level Pilates ones for a bit of strengthening. Um, come and join me. Just three different exercises with a couple of different um, options in there, but yeah, good for the glutes, abs, and a little bit of back, some sort of core stuff too. Yeah, so um, find yourself a spot on the floor, have a little bit of space around you, enough something soft underneath you, hopefully on the mat or something like that, and just come down, roll down, feet shoulder width apart. We're going to go into a bridge, we're going to go into a Pilates bridge. So, or like that yoga bridge, whatever. It's here at the side, shoulders pushed down onto the floor. So, in Pilates, we're going to go, we tilt the pelvis. And we're going to go, the, the spine is coming up one at a time. So we're rolling up through the lower spine, rolling up, rolling up, rolling up, squeezing through the glutes here and engaging the thighs as we're lifting up, keeping the head down on the floor. Eye gaze is up, okay? Keep it, the eye gaze up. So from here, you're just going to hold it for three, two, and one. Option, we're going to do the easier option at first. Just go down for two, okay, and then up for two, so squeezing, up for two, hold it, and then down for two, and then up for two, hold it at the top, this time I'm going to roll all the way down, so starting from the upper spine, rolling, 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 one at a time, through the upper spine, so the lower spine is the last thing to come down. So rolling down, imprinting the spine to the floor, pushing it down, and then tilting the pelvis up just a wee bit to get that little natural curve back in there. Are we good? Yeah. Um, you're going to do this one more time. Do this one more time with me, okay? Okay, and then we'll do a little bit of a harder one or another option, okay? So Tilting lower pelvis here, tilting, squeezing, squeezing. Here we go, lifting up one at a time, one at a time. Getting that mobility through the, through the spine as we're lifting up. Costume adjustments as you wish. <laughs> and pushing it up. So really squeezing here. And then halfway down, halfway down for two. And then pushing back up. Squeeze and lift, keeping the high gaze up. Shoulders down on the floor, hands relaxed. Here we go, down for two, and then up for two. Squeezing and lifting, really good for the glutes. Okay, here we go, down again, one more, for two, and up for two. Squeezing at the top, really pushing up here as much as you can, and then rolling down through the spine at the top. So rolling the spine from the top, really focus on one at a time, Moving down onto the floor. Okay, I'm down my lower spine now. Imprinting the lower spine and then tilting the pelvis the other way. Okay, have a little break here. Tuck your, chin, tuck your knees in, have a little break. Okay, that's good for strengthening the glutes. Alright, so we have another little stretch. I think I have another stretch. While we're here, one leg straight, one leg tucked in. Pull it in. Have a little stretch, roll that ankle. Why not? Stretches are great, just do them whenever you like. They're so good for releasing a bit of tension. Okay, roll in the ankle, and then we're going to go with the other leg. So I'm going to bring that leg up. That one comes in. You can have that leg there if you'd like, but having it straight really stretches out the front of the hips. Roll in the ankle. a nice crack and then rolling it the other way. Good. Just as you like, nice and slow. Okay, so I did say we'd do a harder version of that, so join me if you like. Won't be, um, if you want to stay with the first version of the video, just go up and the two down. Do that. Um, or give this one a shot, okay? So we're just rolling up through the spine, from the lower spine first, lifting it up. Okay, so we get to the top. And we bring one leg comes in towards the chest, and we're going to lift it up towards the ceiling, and then I'm going to bring it down only as far as that knee is. Lift up and down. I'm just flexing it here, and up, and we're going to bring it back down. Okay, 
So I'm going to stay in bridge. Okay, squeezing really, squeezing into that leg that's on the floor and up. I'll do heel and point, heel and point, and heel and point and down. Okay, and rolling back down to the floor. I haven't done this one for a long time, so yeah, I've got to work up to this one myself. Yeah, have a little break. So do you get that one? First time I did it just with a flex foot and then I do heel and point. We didn't do it really super slow, <laughs> but that's okay because we're just working up to it. I need to do it one more time. Okay, feet shoulder width, hands are here, shoulders down on the floor. Okay, rolling up from the lower spine first, rolling up to bridge. Remember, you can just do the two down, two up if you want. Okay, or try this one. Here we go. In, up, flex, and point. Flex, and point. One more, flex, and point. Good, bring it down. Weights on that leg. Here we go. Pushing into that loop. Point and flex. And point and flex. And point and flex. And point and down. And lift into bridge. And then rolling down one at a time from upper spine. Okay. That's a bit of strengthening work. Gosh. I threw this one in the video, I haven't done it for ages, <laughs> I really felt bad. So, um, yeah, it's a good one. I should do that more. Okay, have a little roll around. Good work. Okay, so what we're going to do next, I'm just going to look at my cheat notes for a second. Um, that's right. We're going to do just a few single, just have a bit of a stretch first. Single leg stretches. Call in. Pilates, okay. So, a couple of different levels. But what we're going to do is have the feet up here. We're going to stay um, eye gaze up. Shoulders, we're going to tuck the chin in and lift the shoulders off the floor, okay? That's our starting position. One leg comes in and then we kick it out. We're going to have hands anywhere. Usually we go about here, in and out. Shoulders up the floor, in. And out. We're just doing one leg kicks at the moment, in and out, just to practice, okay? Bring it down, roll, roll down. So we're, we're not going to go full on hardcore at the moment, we just do a little bit of time, okay? So here, shoulders off the floor, lift the hands up the floor, one leg in, kick out. One leg in, kick out, in. If that's a bit too hard for you, just tap down. Okay, in, tap down. So I should have said that at the start, but you'll be fine. <laughs> in, and down, and roll back down. Okay, so hopefully we're doing the kick out ones. That's your level one, okay? So now we're going to go to the level two. All right, still beginner work, but we're going to try it again. Okay, so this time I'm actually going to keep the shoulders down on the floor. Okay, so I'm going to bring my knees, both my knees up, so I'm imprinting my spine into the floor. So I'm going to do a single leg kick, but my shoulders down. Okay, so just showing you different options. First option might work for you better than the second one. This is the second option. Kicking one leg out, and then bringing it in. So if that's too hard, we tap down, and we bring it in. Tap down. There's nothing wrong with starting there, okay? Nothing wrong at all. Tap down. It's so just alternating legs, tap down and bring it back up. Make sure your spine is imprinted into the floor here. Try to keep the eye gaze up. So we're tapping down and bringing it up. So alternating legs, tapping down the other leg. Okay, remember if that's too easy, your other option is kick out and bring it in. Kick out and bring it in. So I'm giving you lots of options. I'm going to show you one more option. So hopefully it doesn't confuse you too much. But if you watch the video, you might just turn it back and go, oh yeah, I can do that other one. Yeah? So give them all a bit of a try. If you like, bring the feet down to the floor. Okay, a little break for a sec. So the last version of, the, this is the, the single leg kick that, um, yeah. 
mean, I learned to, this is the, the, we only sort of learned this, we didn't learn the other options, but I like to give people other options. Okay, so we're going to come here, we're going to lift the shoulders off the floor. So, first of all, tuck chin in, roll up. Eye gaze sort of between the knees, hands are here or wherever you like. Okay, you might like them here, but let's just go hands here, knees off the floor. So, tabletop position and keep one leg out and then we bring it in. So, I'm going to keep my hands here, I like them here. Kick out, one hand here, one hand there on the knee. Yeah, that's actually quite nice, isn't it? One hand here and back. That's nice. Yeah. So you can be my shoulders off the floor here. So this is your other option you can do. Now if you're feeling, oh, I would like a bit of shoulders off the floor because we're using the abs here, but it's too hard to, to kick out that far, you can always just tap down. But it's nice to have the shoulders off the floor. We're really working the upper abs here. Okay, just do a couple more. Four and in and three. And in, and two, I like this one, and one more, and in. Okay, excellent. So, different versions there, have a big stretch. So, do whichever one you like, okay, and then if you like that, do it again, okay. So, we're not doing the video, we're just going to just show you how to do that. Um, okay, so, what have I got planned for you next? Okay. Another one that we do, I will just do a little one on the floor uh, for the back. But I'll show you the arms first. We can do the arms this way. Um, it's in one that we call double leg kick in, in Pilates, but I'm going to just do the upper body with it, not the leg kicks, okay? So, just going to lift up. Hands are here. So if I've got a top hat, I'm holding it, and I'm going to reach my arms out, and then I'm going to circle them around. And then come in and go and circle around. So working the abs, working the shoulders, and a little bit of the back. We got that. So hopefully your shoulders are off the floor as we do that. And we do one more. Shoot up and circle around. Okay, lift up a little bit more and then roll back down. Okay, that's actually quite a nice little exercise on its own. Stretching out. Do that one more time, okay? So we're going to do say, um, let's do say five. Yeah, let's do five. Okay, so feet are here. So other option that you can do as well is you can just do this. So imprint the spine, lift both feet up. So have the feet in tabletop, and then we're going to do the, let's call it the top hat, okay? Ready? Top hat goes, lift it off, big circle round. So my arms out here, circle round, shoulders are off the floor. They stay off the floor, lifting and lifting a little bit more there. That's four, lift, and five. And circle in and bring down. Okay, big stretch out. Okay, so that was another version of it. I had the feet on the floor first time, I had the legs up. Do I give you another version? I'll give you one more. I'll give you one more. Yeah, let's do one more. Because you might like this one. Alright, all right. so top hat, here we go, imprint the spine here, we're going to go this way, and instead we're going to, we're going to, as the, the top hat, we're going to kick our legs up, okay, and then circle round and then bring the knees back down, yeah, can we do that, here we go, and circle round, okay, and circle round, I can't help myself, I want to push them out, Circle out, well, we're doing the easier version. Harder version is this. And circle round, so I'm showing you another version. I can't help myself. Circle out and round. Let's do a couple more. So remember, your legs can go straight up. It's easier than kicking out. And in and down. Okay, so I showed you lots of those. <laughs> Hopefully you don't get too confused, but um, it's just a different way to do them. Okay, if you want to do some two sets of the big, big ones with legs out, that's fine too. Okay, so just, we just did a little stretch there. You've done a little stretch with me. Okay, tuck the knees in, have a little roll around. Okay, so that is working the core, the abs, and we're going to turn over and basically do um, 
The same movement, but yeah, same movement, but with the yeah, working a bit more into the back of what I'm talking about. I'm coming down here. I don't really want to hit that, that, but I might. Okay, relax the feet to the floor. This is working a little bit more into the lower back. Okay, inhale. Ice cube under the belly button, nose grazing the mat. Inhale, lift, shoulders off the floor. Shoot out and circle round. So same movement, but we do it on the floor facing down. Shoot and circle. Lift up, keep the feet on the floor. Shoot, big circle. Lift, one more. Shoot, circle and lift. Hold it there, three, two, one and down, okay. A little, little shake, a little shake. Keep my face down. Shake everything around. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time. You're gonna join me, okay. Four of them, okay. Inhale, ice cube, lift and shoot. Palms are facing here, now palms are facing away. Lifting up to upper locus, shoot forward. And circle, good. One more. Sorry, I lied. Two more. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale. And big circle round. And push your fingers towards your feet. Doing upper locus there. If you want to be a yoga one, we lift in the feet. Full locus. Three, two, and one. Excellent. Coming down and pushing back to child's pose. So have to go. Little stretch. Little stretch. Little child's pose to stretch it out. Because you've got to do that. If that's a bit hard, you come here. Good little stretch there. And a bit of strengthening work for the glutes. A little bit of Pilates work for the core. And I hope you enjoyed those ones. And um, remember, roll out, do some more stretches. And um, take care of yourself. And thanks for joining me. See ya. Bye.